How to run a learning jigsaw. A learning jigsaw is a tool that can be used to help students become actively engaged in their learning. As teachers know, having to teach something requires that you must learn the material quite well first. Learning jigsaws guide students in learning a piece of content and then teaching it to their fellow students. Overall, a learning jigsaw takes about an hour, but it's a more effective way of covering a large piece of content than lecturing about the same material. Learning jigsaws work best with content that is easily divided into a fairly small number of chunks or steps. Let's say four pieces for our example. It's also important to provide good handouts for each piece of content so that all students have a backup resource just in case their student teacher makes some mistakes or misses a bit. Have enough handouts available for everyone in the class. So, how to run a learning jigsaw? Step one. Divide the class into home groups with as many people in each group as you have pieces of content. Again, in our example, four. Step two. In each home group, have the students number off, in our case, one through four. Step three. Have groups of like-numbered students gather at designated locations around the room. All the ones in one spot, all the twos in another, all the threes in another, all the fours in another. These are called corner groups. If you have a very large class, you may need to set up multiple corner groups of the same number. Try to have no more than six or seven people in each corner group to make discussion easier. At the corner locations, have a stack of handouts related to the corner group's piece of the content, enough for everyone in the whole class. As well, have one large sign explaining a task that the group will complete while in their corner. This task should engage the group in a discussion or application of their piece of the content to be sure that they comprehend it. For example, they might have to apply their piece of the content to a case study or come up with examples of how this piece might work in the workplace, or complete a few practice questions using their piece, anything to get them talking about and using the content for better comprehension. This part of the jigsaw will take about 15 or 20 minutes, depending upon the complexity of the content. Step four. At the appointed time, each member of the corner group should gather enough copies of their handout for their home group member and themselves, in our case, four handouts, and return to their home groups. Back in their home groups, members take turns teaching the rest of their group members what they learned in their corners and distributing their handouts. Again, depending upon the complexity of the content, this step might take about 25 or 30 minutes or five to six minutes per person. It's good to do an all-class debrief at the conclusion of a learning jigsaw to check for any remaining questions or unclarity. Other than that, you can expect the students to take responsibility for reading over the handouts and consider the content covered.